blow up. It shouldn't Fredo, work out. Really, it's about the fact that Keese wasn't trying to fuck with the videos. Dollars, Malik thousands. wasn't trying to do the videos. What's up guys, it's the girl Sammy back with another video and today, man, y'all can already see, bruh, this pretty boy Fredo mess. Now, I've been, I've been low-key keeping up with stuff that's been going on and everybody been dropping a little video, but like, Music. You. Are you dumb? Water break. We gotta take a water break for that. Ten seconds later. I've been keeping up, y'all. I really have been. I'm all just aside, I haven't been. But it's like, didn't we already know about this man Fredo? Back when he did what he did to Jasmine? We already knew about this man. And so it's like when all these videos is dropping, I'm just like, were y'all were y'all in a rock when all that was happening? Did y'all see something different? Maybe y'all don't want to judge a book by its cover. Listen, I don't know. We finna we finna get into the video one of these about Pretty Boy Fredo, see what he's talking about. But before we get into the video, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos y'all want to see in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Alright y'all, let's do it. Saying this. Alright, you're recording me and recording you. Recording you. Recording I'm recording this while you record me so I can record you so I have documentation of this recording. For right. what? Today is March what? March 5th. March 5th. March 5th. How many subscribers do you have? 4,500 subscribers. Mm. Literally work every fucking day. I promise you. You are more than a million percent have a million subscribers by the end of the year. That's just this year? A hundred percent. Minimum. Fredo, this year? This year. I wouldn't yeah. even believe that. Awesome. Wouldn't true. believe that. Don't Fredo, care. This year? Can't this year. It sounds like a good little dream, y'all. I, I can't even cap. It sounds like it sounds good when you hear it. It sounds real good. Like, man. Really all them subs? You, are you dumb? And you've been in the YouTube game for this long. Maybe you know what you're talking about. Maybe you know what you're talking about. That's a maybe. That's, but nah, nigga, I do my research. Start, like at a hundred thousand. This man already got exposed, bro. I have talent. I would have called Cap straight then and there. I've been around so many talented people. You've seen this shit. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Cam Deezy here, back with Now I look video. at him dropping a video. And as y'all just Months saw later. in that first clip, that is just one example of Fredo dragging me along, manipulating me, and getting in my head to keep me around so he can mm. use me at any moment's notice. And mm. now I'm blocked. The nigga doesn't mm. want to talk to me because mm. he's done using me. And that's what oh, he does with every he, single he person he you, comes huh? in contact with. He will use you, drive you, you to the ground, and then so when he's you done, cap, bro. he's done. Gotta be looking I, I want to start off by folks. saying I'm not just some random nigga, bro. I did the Fredo clone video in 2018. Yeah. I remember that. Whatever year that was. And I've been working with him consistently up Ever until since. now. Mm -hmm. I've been in the military, so I've been like traveling and shit to make videos done with him. I would do videos with this him. I, I don't know how many videos or how many he's deleted, but I've done over 10 videos with this nigga mm -hmm. consistently. Talk to him consistently. Mm -hmm. And now it's crazy, I'm bro. doing something I never thought I would do, but I have to because at this point, bro, Y'all need to understand what kind of person he is. And then if you choose to work we, with him after this we video. We don't have to understand anything. After, if you watch this video and you choose to work with Fredo. We don't have to understand you anything. Even, you, you fucked yourself, bro. You're wrong. Like, you're crazy if you choose to work with this nigga after Not this. Not that far I get it. My like, thing is him even saying that alone is like crazy to me. Because it's like, that's what people think about you working with him right now after videos after videos after videos was dropped by this man and you working with him so how are you going to talk about anybody else working with him after your video when there's other videos of other people and they probably say the same thing 
I'm just saying though, you know what I'm saying? Say y'all gotta be careful. Ten thousand subs and this shit might Fredo not go that crazy, but I'm gonna he speak messed what up. I experience, and I'm gonna let y'all know the truth because that's the type of nigga I am, bro. And honestly, it wouldn't have even got to this point, but I tried to text him and let him know face to face, man to man, and he blocked me after I'm out thousands, well, thousands of dollars. So now, if it's I feel bad for place, him, I but apologize, it's like but there's just so much shit that I, I have to write down to even think about, bro. I'm gonna I feel start bad with the most recent and just talk about my know. most recent experience these last couple months. Because these last mm. couple months have been so fucked, bro. I'm gonna start off by saying he reached out to me and said he's bringing SSH back together. Okay. So I, you know, we all come together, we talk, group chat, blah, blah, blah. He tells me there's gonna be a contract and I'm gonna work, it's time, da, 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 da. Okay. All that was a lie. There was no contract. Mm. As much as he said I was as an SSH, I never saw compensation. He never signed a contract? And I never really was in SSH. So he going about um, based off word of mouth with everything he's I saying. That's what I'm getting from it. To fly out to New York from Arizona. Sometimes they'd be $800. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'd be $1,000. And it's not like I'm rich and have the money to do that. He would give me right. a day's notice and say, you need to be in New York or Orlando in two days or by tomorrow. And then when I'm like, bro, I don't have Not money or like time, he would gas me and bro. tell me like, nigga, are you really even questioning this? Like, is this even a question? You're really going to miss out on making millions of dollars? Over a thousand dollars? Fred don't know how to get the people. And it would get people. me thinking like, yeah, that's man, crazy. I guess you're right. Like, dang, I, mean, I probably do got to do that. If anything, I'll just help you. Just buy the ticket and I'll help you. I learned slowly that every time I'd buy that ticket and I expect help, when it was time for him to help me, Another More of this excuse. bullshit would come out like, bro, you're investing in yourself. Like, don't trip. Like, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. Heck no, nah, bro. Heck no. Nah. And it would end up in him never helping me or paying me. And I'm out thousands of dollars doing it. SSH fell out. Keith wasn't trying to do the videos. Dollars, Malik thousands. wasn't trying to do the videos. Nobody wanted to come together. And I'm kind of new in the situation. And I'm wondering why. Mm. So he gets back in the group chat and he tells us all, look. We have to come this day. Everyone's going to be there, blah, blah, blah. Let's try this again. We all get in the group chat. We're all talking. We're supposed to all meet up in New York a certain day. And I'm, work I'm out. not really talking to their guys, Keith and Malik. But Fredo, I'm talking to him every day. And he's like, hey, yeah, they're going to be there. They're going to be there. They're going to be there. Don't mm. worry about it. Just get your ticket. Get your ticket. Now, this Can't is like the third ticket I bought after working with him solo. Now I'm working with the group. Okay. And I'm like, all right, bro. Since the whole group's going to be there, I, I'll fuck it. I'll go down another thousand. Just to, just because to he hope. gives me fucking one day to two day notice to get these flights. So I took the risk. Just to hope for I got to there. Out, man. Nobody was there. So he's like, oh, the guys are coming tomorrow. Don't worry. I wake I up the next morning. That. He goes, Cam, they're not coming. Blame them. It's their fault. It's not me. And I was like, why didn't you just tell me it wasn't for sure? And he was like, because Instead I thought they would come. And I was like, well, bro, I don't have money to just get no. up and go. But he literally said he wasn't trying to work anymore. And pretty much kicked me out and I had to go. So the energy was off and I had to go. So I got my shit, bought another plane ticket the next day after getting there one day. I slept, Dang. woke up the next day, bought another plane ticket right back home. And he helped with zero. That's messed up, bro. And he That's told me he was going to help. He told me, hey, bro, I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. Just buy the ticket. I got you. That's what he would always say. And he helped zero. But that's messed me again, up, bro. He's in I my can't head, even lie. So Y'all laugh, but I can't. Y'all laugh, but I can't. Don't worry. It's rough sometimes. Da da da. I got you. I'm gonna make you big. Don't worry. Blah blah blah. Feeding me, feeding me. Just tell me all this same, shit. The same lies, bro. The same around. lies. And you fought for tell every me time. SSH is gonna be there. It's not SSH. It's random niggas I've never seen before. And he tells me, oh, I decided to do this because they work harder. Da 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 da. And I'm just like, well, I'm already here. Fuck it, I have to do it. Overall, the experience that last time with him was horrible. The Corvette video was 100% fake, and I did it because he's really good at making it seem like it's gonna of benefit course. me when I knew it wasn't going to. Dang. I and the other guy split, bought the Corvette, and I put the fucking security deposit down on it. Two thousand mm. dollars. He didn't want any hands on it and made it seem like, oh, I'm not involved because I'm not gonna make a video. I'm not gonna be using it. And he but probably he was, was the main one to use the Corvette, and he was the least one to put money down for it. So Call I blame it. myself a little bit for being so stupid. And it's not like I'm doing this because I didn't blow up and shouldn't be out. Really, it's though? about the fact that he completely cut me out after this, and I didn't do anything. 
Damn. But stick up for this nigga and try to help him, bro. Damn. Another thing that really irritates me that I will confirm is when he works with people in these model agencies, mm. he does not pay them. He'll hire five models for a video, six models. So who paid Two him? models. It doesn't matter. And they're literally like 50 bucks. And he will oh, f- man, not bro. pay them. And then when the they come and broke. ask him like, hey, I never get paid, he'll put it on another SSH member that's He's, not even gotta involved. Be broke. I literally watched him tell a model like, oh, it's Malik. Malik's supposed to pay you. My bad, bro. Malik wow. does dirty shit like that. My bad. And then when they leave, he'll be like, yeah, I got you though. And never fucking pay. <laughs> yeah, I, I got you I've later. I watched him do that multiple you know times. What I'm saying? Thank you for your services just now. Like, you know what? Maybe this I got is you later. Is. This is how the game is. But no, that's you don't not do how that the game people. is. It's fucked up. It's wrong. Any money Messed that I up, ever bro. received in any video or anything, if he did send it to me on Cash App, as soon as the video is over, I sent it right back. My biggest problem with him is the fact that he would gaslight me. And make it I'm sound like it. anytime What's I didn't want to do something, he'd be like, this is what you got to do, bro. Don't you want to be a millionaire? Like, I told you this is what you're going to have to do. Like, you have to put in the work. But in reality, he's just do- doing things that benefit him. Mm-hmm. I spent thousands of dollars on flights. He never helped, even though he told me he would help. So much time mm-hmm. wasted. There was times where I would fly there for a day, then have to fly back. That happened multiple times. Multiple times I'm buying tickets, making videos, and then he wouldn't even post the videos because something was fucked up. And That's I'm sitting there like, bro... I want exposure. At least the one thing I'm going to get out of this is exposure. And then he wouldn't even right. post the videos after I fucking spent a thousand dollars to get out there and make this video for him. The other thing that he would do is talk shit All about people. All this money just being wasted talk shit about on Malik, his talk shit about crazy. Kids, talking shit about Darian. Talking shit about Mikey. Talking shit about Bari. All these people that were connected to him. Mm-hmm. Talking shit about all these people connected to him. And they honestly Malik didn't shit crazy to live through what I'm going through on a different scale. He's fucked over all of these people, and he would tell me, "No, they just did this." And he ain't saying nothing yet. They don't yet. listen. Da, da, da. They don't want it. This but crazy. After bro. experiencing what I experienced, I look back, and I feel stupid for believing everything he said because this nigga will drag anything out he, of everybody and then be mad at them. How he would make like it good to them every single time? He's the problem. Fredo is for the them issue. to listen to this man. Fredo is the issue. The we contract. Knew this already. He lied. Straight up to my face all the time. Oh, this contract, I'm going to get it written up. You're going to be making this much. Total bullshit. It was a Mm -hmm. method to keep me attached. And I fell for it. Editor. He took 10 bands from his editor. I met his editor. Dang, 10 bands. He's a good ass dude, good ass kid doing his own business. Fredo finessed him out of ten thousand dollars. He told me, "Hey, don't oh, mess, nah. with he, don't mess with Itolo. He's bad for business. Don't, don't go for him for videos no more and stuff like that. He's bad for oh, business. Wow. He tried to scam me, and I believe Fredo. After going back and talking to Itolo and talking to their guys, bro, I realized Fredo trying to dig. He's trying to throw Fredo people has in that hole with him, every bro. Every single person in his path. Nothing he does is with pure intent. It's to the point where everything he says or does, you have to question it. You have to question if it's real, think, if he, like, he, yeah, how is he going to use me in this situation because that's what he does. Like DDG, him and DDG don't like each other. I personally <laughs> fuck with DDG as a creator and a music artist. Fredo. Listen, we, listen, we, I heard enough, I heard enough of this man. Look. You, are you dumb? This is what I'm gonna say. There is videos of Fredo doing people dirty, of just Fredo just being Fredo, you know what I'm saying? Ever since, I don't know when this whole like persona, this new persona he got going on came out, but it's been like, Fredo just don't seem like he a good, you know what I'm saying? If you come in his path, he on a good track with you, he gonna vibe with you. It don't seem like it's giving that, you feel me? So, me? Like all these people that's you know dropping videos by Fredo, it's like y'all stay for how many months with this man? And he broke y'all the wrong way one time. One, I get one time. One time this man make you out of money, I'm not going back. I'm not gonna spend another eight hundred dollars on a flight after I just came and you sent me home because you felt a bad vibe knowing I barely got money. You couldn't let me stay for three, four days, just chilling, just vibe, no stress. You sent me home. And then you want me to come back out there and spend my own money on another flight? And he didn't do this not one time. He did it multiple times. No way, bro. I I, I feel bad for all the people that got scammed. You know what I'm saying? I hope 
y'all get your money back you get whatever it is that y'all looking for when y'all drop these videos but it's just crazy because i just don't get it like build your own sometimes sometimes you just gotta build for yourself don't try to let nobody else tag you along or do your research first on the person you know and if they give you a bad vibe believe it don't second guess the vibe don't second guess their intentions if you feel like it's bad from the get-go it's bad if multiple people around this person is telling you that you know what i'm saying they're gonna do this this and that and you don't want to believe it second think again before you you know what i'm saying because he could have probably saved a lot of money and they all probably could have their own thing and been on top and top and afraid of you know what i'm saying so it's all about just being aware paying attention trusting your instinct trusting your gut playing it smart even if this man wanted you to come just tell him straight up like this look i don't got the money for 800 dollars. so can you like put it in half with me on the flight and don't tell me you're gonna do it send me that money let me see it in my bank statements you feel me send me half when you send me half i'll be on my way because i have my half but if you can't send me half man i probably just can't send it because I ain't going to catch this look alike. I feel like Fredo was low-key using him in a circle because he was blowing up based off being his look alike. Fredo slick, bro. This man is slick and he tricked everybody, bro. That's crazy, bro. Oh, hell no. All these people just got tricked out of money. Ten bands. Ten bands. That's a lot of freaking money. 10 bands is a lot of freaking money, y'all. Nah. Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. About Fredo, what you feeling about this situation. You know, hope all the people, hope all y'all get y'all money back and y'all get justice. And you know what I'm saying? Fredo, listen, you need to come out and say something. Apology, something. It's something better than nothing. That's how I'm feeling. But I'm going to see y'all for the next one.